Okay, John Perillo here at www.perillo.com. This is courses for you guys who just eat plain food all the time. Let's make it taste good. And so here's a recipe that is this is actually out of our Cap Tri cookbook. This is one of the favorite recipes everybody says they like. Everybody in their family likes it. And why? Because it's so easy to make and it tastes so good. So let's make that chicken taste good. Now the, the, all the all the grams and you know ounces of everything is going to be on. Of course, the recipe will be on the website there, and you, you can get it. So we got 600 grams of chicken here. We just got the you know the straight bone chicken. We've cut it up into into pieces. We're going to put it in our pan. Blop. Okay. And guys, it only takes you to cut the chicken breasts up. It takes you about two minutes. Okay. So we're going to put our cap try. There's our fat, our oil, but that doesn't get stored as fat in your body. It just gets burned off for energy. Good stuff. We're going to mix that in with the chicken, or you can put it over the thing later, but this is going to kind of give the chicken something to cook in. So we put our cap try in there, okay? Then look at, look at this. This kind of covers the bottom of the pan. Isn't that nice? Look at that. That's just about perfect right there. Now we're going to lay our potatoes. We've just taken some potatoes and we cut them up. And we're going to lay these on top of the chicken like this. Okay? They stick together. What's this? And remember, now this is going to be a good down home flavor. Remember, if you're ever cooking anything and somebody says, what does that taste like? And you, like last, our last recipe, you kind of, it's got a unique flavor. Just say it has a Mediterranean flavor and then you get away with anything. <laughs> But no, this has a this just this has all the good spices in it. So we're gonna layer in our potatoes here. I know for some of you guys cooking this is like a big chore, but it's not that hard to do. Da da da. And uh, Heather, who is shooting this, said this is even her little kids and her husband, and everybody just loves this. Of course, they love it because. Heather made it, but probably it tastes pretty good too. Now we're going to take our vegetables. We've taken an onion. We've, we've just kind of sliced it in big slices. We're going to put that in here too. We're going to put that around. Onions, Mary, we want nice big pieces. Chunks. Okay, we got our onion in here. Cut up some carrots. Put them on there. Don't cut your fingers, guys. Carrots are pretty easy to cut. Just keep one hand way away from the from the blade and uh, green beans with the ends cut off you can buy fresh ones these are fresh and they cut the ends off this can be tedious you can buy them frozen with the ends already cut off so it's not that bad okay so there we go put our green beans in this is just oh man this is this is a hard recipe isn't it for you guys that like to cook sure you can cook you can make it taste good okay then we're gonna put in some uh, we're going to sprinkle over the top of this some parsley. That's like a tablespoon of parsley. Some spice there. And you saw nobody ate parsley, but we do. We put parsley in there. Here's some Mrs. Dashes. There we go. That's going to cook down in there. So that's, this is this what's going to give it the flavor. Spices, flavor. Mmm, num num. And some cooking sherry. You go, I don't want to go put wine in there. You can buy this at the store cooking sherry it's in that little bottle here it's called taste you want it to taste good so you dribble that over the top like this cooking sherry okay and that's in the grocery store okay then we're going to cover this and you can put this in a pan with a cover we just couldn't find the cover i don't know if this one had one so we used Aluminum, as they say in chemistry, AL foil, aluminum foil. Now we preheated our oven to 325 degrees. We're going to put this in here at 325 degrees for two hours. We're going to go. We're going to we'll go watch the Man Show or something on uh, on Spike, or we're going to watch some tractor pulls or some drag racing. And uh, when that's done, we're going to have. Quite a few meals here we can eat, and our food is going to taste good. Be sure and visit us at www.perillo.com. Okay, we're back. John Perillo here. We're going to see how the pot chicken came out. It's going to be a couple. It's been a couple hours in the oven. 
at 325. Try not to burn myself here. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. slightly put it up here. Now this is stainless steel counter. Of course, you put it on some towels or something if you don't have stainless steel. We'll take it. Oh wow! It's done. Look at it. Oh, see all the spices, and we got some juice down there. Oh man, this is good. Now let's try that. That's got the parsley. Remember, in this recipe, we eat the parsley. Blow that off. Mmm. And with the Mrs. Dashes, it's got flavor. How about that, guys? So we'll just scoop some up here. We got now. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put the onions in there. Or there we got some um, some of the potatoes and the chicken, and we'll add some carrots in here and some of the green beans. <coughs> If you want, you can kind of stir it up before you before you dish it out. Get everything all mixed up there, nice and good. But this is here, so of course, don't have any silverware. We're going to try this now. This this is making everything taste good. This has some spices on it. Let's see the potato. Mm -hmm. Taste the potato. Hmm. Good. Put all the juice, everything mixed in. If you and the, the uh, carrots are nice and done. Now, as long as the chicken's done, if you like your vegetables a little crunchier, you can cook it maybe an hour and a half. Just check and make sure that the chicken's done. If you like your vegetables well cooked, because a lot of guys don't like their green stuff, okay, you can cook them so they don't have some crunch in them. Um, you can leave it in an extra half hour or something. It's not going to hurt them. Like I say, green beans are nice and crunchy in this. It has good flavor. It's easy to make. Everybody in the family is going to love this. So, be sure. Now, of course, after you eat this, you're going to want some dessert. So, you're going to want some Perillo pudding or some protein ice cream. So, we have all that stuff for you. Be sure and visit us at www.perillo.com. Pot chicken, good stuff. You make your food taste good. It's really good for you. It's not going to make you fat. It's a great diet food. And like I said, guys, you can even make this. It's really easy.